Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast with me, your host, Imperial Dane, for you today, one versus one on Stuart Stuff. Yes, indeed, Stuart Stuff. Again, been having quite a few matches on this. Again, sorry for the lack of variety, but again, sometimes to just work with what I have, not what I wish I had. <laughs> Tragic matter of fact. Should nonetheless be an interesting fight. We shall be seeing in one half MW in your face, fighting for the Americans. Fighting for the 20th Infantry Division, opposing him shall be Bravo, my life of the third Panzer Gunner. Dears. My apologies if I'm sounding a bit tired, didn't sleep too well, plus the heat just leaves me tired, and it's actually quite bloody hot here at the moment. So my apologies, and I'll do my best, of course, to find you an interesting Eastern Front mod match for tomorrow. I'm having a bit of difficult finding one, but hopefully I shall be able to find something nonetheless. And now as we are seeing a two pioneer set up from the Wehrmacht. Wehrmacht quarters up and from your face. We are seeing the two engineers start as well. We are seeing riflemen. Points are being secured. We are seeing a aggressive spread out by the Wehrmacht. They are going eastwards but at the same time also westwards. And in fact he's starting off by wiring off. And he's actually going for a pretty large wire. In fact to protect his fuel point. Anchoring on the huge log pile of logs. And of course with the edge of the map. And that's of course securing him the munitions point right there. First unit out from the Wehrmacht quarters are false Grenadiers, who so far look to be replaced with the Ust Truppen or the Russian Liberation Army troops, or or as the Soviets would have written it, poor or something like that. So that seems interesting. I mean, there'll be rifles and can be upgraded with MP4s. I mean, so far they seem to be the sort of thing. But again, we lack a lot of details. What I do know is, besides the Panzer IV, the Panther, and the Tiger, we will also be getting a Stug III. Not the four, but the three. Actually, quite fascinating. I mean, probably also get some more updated tanks for the rest. Just so far, they're probably using placeholders still a bit. Now, seeing the pioneers getting rushed off here, rather high aggression by in your face in the east. Whereas the Wehrmacht is rather focusing on the west. Possibly because he feels that it's a bit easier to hold, but at the same time, of course, the east is where most of the high resources are. I mean, we are talking high munitions both here and there, and the high fuels. I mean, the east is essentially much more valuable in terms of resources. So that is certainly something to sort of remember. It looks like they are now sort of slowly heading east with Bravo My Life, standing up, getting another false kind of squad. And there we go, slowly edging, while well, of course. The Americans are busy and quite content securing the east. We are seeing additional riflemen. Could get spotted. There we go. Bit of fire from the false grenadiers. Otherwise, not a lot of detail so far from Gamescom, I'm afraid. It's a bit tragic. One would have hoped for more, but I mean, there's of course also all the questions which will hopefully get answered. I imagine our lovely community manager, Links, shall be, of course, I first have to get back from Germany. And then, of course, we'll probably post it for. So hopefully, next week we'll get some more details, but I mean, surprisingly, there's not been a lot of details, even from the few journalists who sort of pointed out something so far. I mean, it's a bit odd, and I mean, again, it's not really the best journalistic sites that really so far have reported on it either, which I'm afraid. But there we go, we are seeing a nice swing around by Bravo My Life, getting some engineers, he's probably going to try and cut off them on the retreat. Engineer squad could be going now, no! No, yes, no, yes! No! Rather than take up, the, take up the attention, coming under fire from 10 false grenadiers, one man already down, and again, you know, focus, work them together. False grenadiers are much stronger when they work either with each other or with another unit. Preferably be it again, false grenadiers. Raven here are suffering a bit. More Raven moving in, this is quite a f reversal for him, and in fact, there we go, full retreat. He realizes he cannot win this, he cannot do anything good, and said immediately retreats. We are seeing, what is this, a sniper out from Bravo My Life. Perhaps not what he right away wants, I think. We are seeing f a fourth rifle squad on the way. Has to be careful, there we go, though gets one flame for engineer. And already he's laying down mines, lovely. And of course it's going to be even easier now that he's holding both high munitions points. Definitely a bit of a problem right there for Bravo My Life. And mines again, jolly good. They're going to make it much harder for the Wehrmacht to actually advance for the 3rd Panzer Grenadier Division. Recently transferred from Italy over to the Western Front. Now somewhere in Lorraine, Alsace. We're seeing the Raffin advancing. Right into an MG42 trying to catch the sniper. And will the sniper get off another shot? More mines, excellent, more mines. He's really being again aggressive so far again. And Bravo Life doesn't seem quite aware of this, but there we go. 
Now the question is, will he actually get a mine sweep or will he walk straight into the mine? Ooh. Oh, that's bloody close. Apparently it's a wing sniper. Careful, careful. Four six. I think a mine went off there. I'm not sure who detonated and who laid it down. There we go, the mine went off. Problem my life did not lose a man, but again, why the mines we weren't there is a bit of a mystery. MG42 setting up. Folks have to be careful, they're up close to the rifle. Again, close range is where the riflemen rule. And folks can it's not quite so much rule. Rifle going down there to snipe a fire. Not really the strongest engagement right there for Brown my life. Pioneers need to get out of there. And now the west, of course, is completely open to the efforts of In Your Face. Pioneers are going to get run off. Another MG42 up. So two Volksgrenadiers, two MGs and a sniper. Slightly more heavy start, but I mean in this case, yo, in your face has gone for the Browning Automatics. So it is more understandable. He of course goes for another MG to try and stop across the flanks. And again, he doesn't have to worry about armored cars right away. There we go. Minesweeper, but only one pioneer. And get the mines first, man. You should get told about it. There we go. You really want to clear up those mines so you don't actually end up running on them. And these folks can need a medic pack as soon as possible. The, they are not going to be much use and they're probably going to end up being a manpower drain much swifter than anything else. So that's something Bravo My Life might want to consider actually getting sorted out. MG42 following up. Folks can an MG here in the west as well, forcing where the engineers trying to cut through, but they did not even succeed in that. So no help for Folks pioneers down here and they are laying down mines. Good, good in fact. Three pioneers up in fact now for Bravo My Life. We'll be seeing a click back. MG42 relocating. Sniper sticking to the MG42. Pioneers have to be careful to do the false grenadiers. And there we go. In your face, pushing in the rifleman. And there's nothing to support than the MG42 nor the sniper. Oh dear. Losing ground out there. There we go. MG42 sitting up. And there we go. Engineer quickly shot through the face. Rather regretting that, I imagine. If he could regret it. Since corpses don't really have much regret in them. The Sniper so far, six kills. Four riflemen still, and we are seeing a trio send up for in your face. Going on to a supply yard, that's going to help as well. And we're also seeing a nice flank going up here by in your face, I imagine. Although MG42 setting up to protect right there, he might have spotted, of course. As no, he's moving on! He's moving on! Careful! Oh, careful, careful! Riflemen pushing in here, MG42. Not sure we'll be able to set up in time. No, indeed, it will not. Sniper Fultz goes down in trouble. Bravo here. Oh, quickly flanking about. He should not have been moving that MG42. Bravo, my life needs to be much better in his, you know, usage of the MG42s. It really seems to be a problem with him. He's not quite thinking out it, and he's constantly moving them about when the enemy is right close to them. That's the moment you do not move them unless it's moving them away, far away. You should not be trying to set them up because it usually means the riflemen will be moving up and, in fact, beyond their range of effectiveness. So in this case, Bravo My Life is making some mistakes in terms of his machine gun usage. And it's actually costing him quite a bit. Kriegberg's up. Kampfkraft sent up. He might be getting some grenadiers. Mine goes off. They're killing one rifleman. Again, Fultz Grenadiers desperately needs some healing. Another force moving up there. But again, one MG42 down. And he's not really been able to really cause the same losses to in your face. And we are seeing a half track coming up for the Panzer Grenadiers. Rather than getting sniped as usual, it would almost seem like. Flamethrower pioneers moving up. Not a lot of more mines from in your face, so a bit of a shame. And there we go. Half track being manned by the false gunners, though you would prefer pioneers. Less space filled up again means you can actually use the infantry on the fighting front. Plus, of course, the pioneers can of course just also repair the half tracks. So then again, the preferred unit to man half tracks is at pioneers or engineers or anything like that. Home club center is up. Advancing up. Not a lot of mines though from him again would be nice. Perhaps a mine here. Crossroads like this are good spots for mining. Minesweepers advancing very carefully again. He's now cautious about further mines from in your face. Not completely in understandable. Though again, half tech should be manned with pioneers, not false grenadiers. Mines going down there. Good. Mines going down there. Good. And what is going on here? Not much else. He's actually floating quite a bit of manpower. Not necessarily the best idea. Rather moving up here, half tech moving in, but again, it's not been manned. It's not been manned. 
Rifleman, and there we go, hit the mine right in front of the flame throws. Move in, Flamin there for Los Gates. Rifleman retreating, Fultzkness could be moving in. Rifleman pushing in from the north, Fultzkness. Careful, don't move. Careful! Bravo, my life, what are you doing? Oh dear, that was definitely a miss move. And again, get those priorities, Matt. Oh dear, this is turning out to be a complete mess for Bravo, my life. He's making. Oh dear. What could have been a good situation again is going absolutely bottoms up. MG42 getting forced off. Half track not losing much. He could be losing another MG42. Half track trying to intersect, but again, where were those pioneers? Why weren't they manning the guns? I mean, why do you not have. You know, the half check man at all. It could easily have stopped this assault. Front shifting. Crowds Instead, he's just pretty much handed over the fight to his opponent and just lost the Fultz gun in his squad. This is not helping him one bit. Half track run off. More mines going down. Lovely, lovely. Pioneers coming under fire here, getting a bit of an execution squad style. Send off, but they quick. And um, there we go, quickly retreating. Sniper moving up, 9 kills, could get some engineers, lovely. And again, MV in your face is definitely trying to be much harder for the Wehrmacht to advance by quickly laying down lots of mines, but again, problem my life. Oh, he's floating almost a thousand manpower, what the hell is going on here? Long -range artillery okay, not really what should be recommended, although he could be going for the howitzer, I suppose, but still needs to get some bloody units. Same can't be said about Bravo my life as well, but he's not floating because again, he's losing too many units too quickly. He's down to one infantry unit, which is not good. Finally manning the half track. Mine goes off. Oh, and he lost the sniper. Again, careful with those mines. And do not be sending in snipers anywhere. You only have, have infantry tread. Would also be usually a little rule of thumb there. No, send in only the sniper will be able to actually have other troop steps so they don't run into mines. But again, I mean... And in your life rather needs to sort of think about the sort of defenses he actually wants to sort of set up. Oh, Atelier getting in on the false gunners. Veterans are one up. Need to retreat. Need to retreat. Rücksuk. Pack moving up. False gunners and gunners getting. No, just gunners and pioneers. Man the half track. Pioneers and gunners moving in against the riflemen. Trying to torch a few. There we go. Half track man as well. Grenadiers burning alive. Quite a bit of damage. Panzerex in case, of course, of enemy armor or vehicles. And we are, in fact, seeing the tank depot going up. Pioneers run off. Rather than getting run off as well. A bit of a send off. Setting off a mine. Oh, he could be losing a squad. He could be losing a squad, but looks like he won't. At the same time, going for the munitions there. No real reaction from him again. Lacking the infantry to really to react to all of this. But again, his sort of, you know, handling of the machine guns is a bit dangerous. Again, that's the sort of thing that can end up losing you a lot. More artillery getting called in and a full retreat right there. Points are being secured, but again, lacking in infantry. Desperately lacking in infantry. He's getting another sniper. Though again, I would recommend more infantry, more grenadiers. Half track rolling in. Deal with these naughty little riflemen. The and there we go, quickly suppressed and quickly run off. Ready. MG crew on. And MG getting reinforced. Bravo, my life, though, really needs to sort of sort it out. Again, he's definitely making some mistakes he should not be making. I mean, he. I mean, again, the sort of MG movement bit there, not really good. And we are seeing Terra up. Probably going for the left hand side. That's what usually a lot of players do. Half track needs support. MG moving up. Again, needs to be careful. 4 6. Half track needs to quickly moving in between, otherwise it will get overrun. There we go, suppressed by the half tax machine guns and the MG42 setting up. Gunners and moving into flank. More rough and moving in to hit the other flank. Sniper arriving, MG. Ooh, there we go. Rifle getting forced away with some losses. And we are seeing the first Sherman out. Going to hit the third Panzer Gunners anytime soon. 
And all he has really is a Panzerick and a pack, and the pack is in no place to really stop it. Riferman hitting the other flank. Mine's going off, doing a bit of damage. Sniper fire on the engineers, but not really hitting, and the Sherman is close by as well. Pack moving up. He is aware, but again, he's not quite able to react. German troops here need to be really careful. That Sherman does not do terrible things to them. Once being retaken, another machine gun. Not really what I think he needs. Again, more infantry. Mere infantry. He needs stuff to kill, not to press. Mine goes off there, kills a bit. Few point retaken away from the third Panzer Grenadiers. And the engineers are quickly finding themselves run off there as well. Volkskan is running into a bit of a pro surprise there. Sherman arrives with a 75 mm gun. Nice hit. In your face, definitely keeping up the pressure, of course, with lots of rifle and moving on, of course, to armor. And in fact, he's got five rifleman squads. That's absolutely heavy. And again, I mean, compared to this, he only has two infantry units. I mean, really. Bravo, my life is definitely lagging back in infantry. He needs more than that. And that German pack, again, he's... Again, let's just briefly, you know, pause, explain why is this a bad idea. Because, again, it's a support unit. It's a more reacting unit to something going on like this. And, again, it can easily be outmaneuvered by this. Infantry with Panzerics cannot. That's why you keep them at the front. Then you follow up with this. In this case, this pack can easily be out outmaneuvered, in fact, as it's moving. And in fact, it might even happen, and there's nowhere, nothing to support it right away. So again, this is a bit pretty mad mistake. He made the same one with the MD42s. Again, support units stay behind the frontline units as a rule of thumb. And if you see the enemy, you do not begin moving about them too much because again, you can run into a problem just like he did here earlier. So again, very vital. Support units are support units, not frontline combat units. What separates the frontline combat units from the support units is they can usually handle things moving about. Support units have a very hard time dealing with that in most cases. So let us return to the fight. And there we go, of course, and Sherman, there we go, spotting them. And now, of course, the pack is immediately outmaneuvered. And again, this is why you don't do it. There we go, do get off a nice shot. Grenadiers moving up, Panzerzweck hits, half-track not manned, Sniper MG42 not close enough to provide support again. Now the infantry who can actually do something are quickly getting rushed because again the support units are nowhere near to actually support the infantry. I mean he's having absolutely terrible difficulties with cohesion. Sherman getting hit and again the MG's not moving in, it's only slightly. Sherman taking heavy damage but again the Grenadiers are exposed, half-track down. He did manage a bit of a propaganda war, but again, that's not saving them from the second wave of infantry. The Grenadiers are in big trouble. MGs are not moving fast enough, he, and now he's just again making mistakes. More Grenadiers are finally arrived, but again, too late. He needs to retreat the Grenadiers before he lose them and their Panzer Trek. MG42 finally going up, Sniper also. Quickly stopping them down there and doing a bit of damage. Artillery getting called on the MG42. We're going to need to see retreat there. Sniper down to flame for a fire, I think. Way too close to the front line with the sniper again. I'm not sure why he moved in like that. Not a strong handling by Bravo, my life. I mean, he needs to be more, you know, careful with his usage of support units. Again, he's treating them a bit too much like they're frontline units. Again, infantry. And again, he needs more infantry to get the most out of his support units. And again, he's finally, finally gotten three infantry units, which is rather the preferable minimum of infantry. Not two, but three. Three is the magic number. I mean, you don't always have to get three full guns right away, but they at least get, you know, later on a Grenadier, for example, if you're the Wehrmacht. Or Stormtroopers or something. Another unit lost over here. Oh, dear. In your face has been gathering up snipers, and this is going to be a problem for Bravo, my life. Troops here getting suppressed. Snipers are moving up, though. Rather than retreating. More moving. 
up, grenadiers, everything else nearby. Rathman quickly getting suppressed, running straight into the MG and suffering. Down three men, but snipers are arriving, quickly clearing out the MG. Although we are seeing a rush by the German infantry to try and clear out the snipers, that's good, 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 mine here. But of course, quickly retreating, and hopefully we will not be seeing anything like this in coming years too, thankfully. This is a bit silly. Oh, it's going to be some moving up. Good, good, in fact. Points are being secured. Resources are being floated. Will he be going for snipers? Will he be going for the Sturm Army? Or what will he be doing? And of course, more mines would be nice. And then again, he feels like perhaps he might need it for mines. Three infantry squads there, two there, and two snipers. Again, a pretty vicious assault force. And again, it's quite severely grinding down Bravo Life. He didn't even bother with the medic bunker early on, which again could perhaps have saved him in the long run. Storm Armory up. Hopefully, he'll get a Stug first and perhaps some armored cars. Because otherwise, that Sherman will be dealing with an armored car pretty swiftly and succinctly because, again, the armored car can't really damage that. Ram getting suppressed, but of course, he's continuing up here on the western flank with an assault up there. Flame floors flanking. Kennedy is getting sniped. MG getting cleared out by flamethrower fire and sniper fire. Needs to retreat. Although he could be losing the MG. In fact, our veterans he won. Oh dear, and there we go. MG down. Needs to retreat. Wixook. Another sniper on the way for Bravo, my life. Let's return to the Americans in the 20th. Taking points there. And we are now seeing Rangers as well. So that's actually going to be six infantry units. Five regular, one elite. MG forced away. Snipers are real bastards. Another sniper out. Will he be able to get one of the American ones? Of course, Christian is what will be coming out of the Storm Armory. Penis advancing up. Hoping to, of course, to lure out the snipers. And there we go. Will the German sniper get him? No. Ow, oh, he was too late. And of course, now. In your face, of course, is aware of that. And there we go. Rain is quickly moving in. Thompson submachine guns quickly holding down the assault. Of course, it's going to make the snipers much easier to drown them down. Of course, now the German sniper needs to just snipe the rangers. The Volksgangs need to retreat. And why isn't the German sniper hitting the rangers? Oh, for heaven's sake. Rangers continue. Sniper needs to get back. Rifle and force back. Retreat the sniper. Grenade. They're not landing properly, I think. Doing a bit of damage, though. Grenades could, in fact, win this now. And there we go. Okay, all right, mine in fact ooh, could be losing. Oh, bloody lucky ranger right there. The luckiest ranger of the day. Something coming out of the Sturm Armory for the third Panzer Grenadiers. Again, using a Grenadier squad to man the MG42. Raven moving up. Has to again to be careful with snipers. Just retreat. And there we go. Sniper fire. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Sherman advancing up as well. And also note he didn't fire away the right with the second sniper either way, he waited so both could snipe at the same time, that's increasing the chance of clearing out fully at the same time. Second armor car on the way. Our first one actually. Mines going down again. Good with the mines, although again both sides are using mines. I mean clearly bravo your li my life. It's not exactly completely you know without common sense but I mean he's also making a lot of mistakes again it rather comes down to the support units and his handling of them he's clearly got a bit too much faith in them and apparently not enough faith in his infantry again always trust in your infantry they will see your fruit if you treat them properly and support them properly and of course the armored car running immediately into an armored car I mean Sherman in fact not quite helpful Sherman getting assaulted, propaganda war, and there we go, destroyed engine. Immediately the armored car is pretty much... Oh! He oh dear, there we go. Will he be able to get one of the snipers? No. He said, of course, snipe something else. Not really strong handling, troops getting MG'd. And there we go, will he get one? Will he get one? 
No, he misses! Again, that's a bit of the problem. Again, with snipers currently, counter-sniping is a huge pain in the arse. And you're more likely not to succeed, and then of course get yourself counter-sniped. MG needs to retreat. And Bravo Malive again needs to really rectify things. Oh, the looks like he's actually managed... No, he hasn't. Never mind. I just mislooked. Just thought he killed one rifle from the squad. My apologies. Then he's moving in there. No Panzer X though. German infantry quickly pulling back behind the house before the 75mm gun does terrible, terrible damage. Horrific, mind numbing damage. Heck, not really achieving much either. Storm armory lighting up again. No further armor here. Although more supplied upgrades. That's great. That's great in your face. Troops getting snipers advancing, MT sniper again needs to pull away. Flame throws grenadiers. Panzer's Rex. Rather getting burned. Propaganda war saving the sniper. American snipers nowhere nearby to actually help. Right from the trying to catch that sniper. Looks like the German sniper manages to escape. Rifleman squad actually went down right there. Small victory. Flamethrowers and Grenadiers moving in, but they have to be careful. They need to retreat. And there we go. Oh, Pioneer Squad went down. High explosive shield. Quickly remove them from the face of this earth. And there we go. Sturm Geschütz Sphere arriving. Rather than caught in the middle of the road. Shook full rolling in. To provide assistance. Order into Stützung. Pack coming under fire, Grenadiers. Stug, false gun is moving in, trying to save the pack. Has to be careful though. Don't want to get sticky bombed now, do you? Enemy unit. There we go, pack cleared out. Veteran D2 for these riflemen, though, of course, be careful. No, don't move in the Stug too close. And a bit of a mistake there again. It doesn't have a church, so I mean, it can't really do things like that. It should have been kept you know, a bit behind with the infantry or at the same pace, shooting from a distance. Great mistake right there by Bravo My Life. Right. Now we are seeing the sword moving in and this could easily end up losing again. He's moving in the MG. Why not from this angle? You know, up from there instead of exploding it here to where the American assault will definitely be coming from. A second MG, which you know could have been again. Not sure why he's doing that. Sherman moving in. Pack needs to be recruited. ASAP. Quickly get the false gunners on the pack. On the pack. Too late. Sherman could be going down. There we go. Rangers are moving in as well. Sherman again could have been going down much earlier had he done that. False guys now really sent away. Anyways, sniper is clearing out the MG. Grenadiers trying to save the Stug. Pretty sure Basuga will finish off. Why were these Grenadiers not fighting again? All troops to the front. Leave all of this to afterwards. Snipers both veterans here too now. And we are seeing the King Tiger arriving, a desperate attempt by the 3rd Panzer Grenadiers to turn the tide around. Meet the Königs Tiger, the Königs Tiger of course. Rolling in. And he is taking points over there, although some have to be careful about the snipers of course. Not a unit's left, looks like he's lost himself across a sniper. Rifleman laying down mines, not bad. And looks like an off-map combat group just provided him with numerous riflemen again. And an anti-tank gun and an MG. Riflemen that went down as they were trying to lay down a mine. And snipers could be caught right... Oh, the King Tiger misses! Oh, what a miss! He just can't get any luck with those snipers. King Tiger a bit exposed on his flank, although there we go. Fultz guns moving up to protect. And here they're going to get assaulted. Need to retreat. Losing a victory. And King Tiger pulling back, does not want to get Sigma MG42 setting up to protect. There we go, rather than getting suppressed. False gun is providing a bit more firepower, but not a lot of other units actually support the King Tiger. And this could definitely be a problem for Bravo My Life. King Tiger though, decrewed. King Tiger keeps finding way. We are seeing artillery going cold in on the M machine gun. Going to try and leave, of course, that King Tiger a bit on its own. Anti-tank gun recruited by riflemen, but of course they are taking heavy losses as they are moving in to try and continue it. King Tiger taking a bit of damage but striking off most of it. Riflemen moving in to try and get off that sticky bomb, that one right to one. Last man retreats. 
And Yunus nearby, and the King Tiger advances once more. Misses again. What remains of the 3rd Panzer's infantry moving up. Hit on the King Tiger, killing the crew. More rifle engineers moving in. There we go. Anti-tank gun gone. Rifleman advancing. He's down to four riflemen, one ranger squad. Definitely suffering a bit. Pioneers, MG, Grenadiers have to be careful though. Four sick, four sick men now. Rest are reinforcing. Force guns could also be advancing up. Seven kills to the Koenigs Tiger already. The Tiger 2. Which we do not know if it actually be encountered here to either, but we do know that the Wehrmacht or the Ostia, whatever we call it, both have access to the medium and the light half track. Quite interestingly enough. Although some of all of these things, of course, are going to be doctrinal callings, of course, we don't know what will be. You know, so, of, of course, lots of things points. to be there. Trying to kill the points, they're good. But again, he's not really providing a lot of support for the King Tiger. 4 6th. Rangers moving up on the flank. Mines, though, have been laid out, which is good. They're getting into the building. Rifemen moving in swiftly. Though in this case, again, remember, windows matter. In this case, there are no windows there. Grenade getting locked in at the Rangers. Killing one. Excellent. Wunderbar, mine here. Snipers opening up. Clearing up Grenadiers left and right. King Tigers up on the Rangers hiding inside the barracks. Grenadiers and Fulcans moving up. Riflemen getting absolutely slaughtered. Another off map combat group rolls in. And there's nothing to protect the snipes, although there's a 30 caliber in the close by. Engineers could be going down. Fox gun is right in front of the house. Why? You're just going to get gunned down by submachine guns. King Tiger advance is going in pretty bravely. Take the time to have a look at Bravo in my life. He could be going for a forced retreat, perhaps. Awesome upgrades for the Grenadiers earlier. Might have worked, you know, either an LMG to deal with the Ironman. And it's just actually paused as a fun thing about the LMG 42. It's ridiculously effective against snipers retreating. I don't know why, but it will eliminate them in seconds. So, I mean, fun little fact there. If you ever do see it, stop the Grenadiers on the ground, order them to attack, and that LMG will sort it out. I mean, I've seen it happen. So, again, fun fact there. King Tiger, though, getting assaulted by the armored car. Ooh, Greyhound Mines! Tank Destroyer! Only an NMG to provide... Oh, heavy machine gun to provide support. Grenadiers yeah. are lying with the Panzer again. Why is not using munitions to upgrade them? I'm not sure why. Seems quite odd. Quite frank beyond my understanding. 30 caliber riflemen. Ghana killed. Panzer hits. German infantry moving in again. Another Greyhound mine. Mine goes off, destroying the engine of the King Tiger. And somehow the Greyhound survives. There we go, the Ruffin moving up, probably going to get off a Steagle bomb, and there we go. Grenadiers scrolling in, Fox Grenadiers moving in, Rangers. Lots of heavy automatic fires. The King Tiger desperately tries to fend off the advancing American hordes. Propaganda war, but. Only send away one sniper. What a waste of those munitions. And again, LMG or MP40, something like that could have helped. 30 caliber hot suffering heavily. But again, the King Tiger is barely still standing. Finally getting up to normal manpower income. Rangers heavily suffering as well. And there we go, Rangers dead. King Tiger repaired. He needs to advance though quickly. Move, move, move. Sniper fire. And we might actually be seeing some artillery getting called in. Anytime soon, in which case would be terrible. MG42 recruit by his rifleman. Now access to inspired assault and fire some. Again, why does he send in the MG42s first? Makes no sense. And where are the pioneers repairing the King Tiger? Why did he call them away? Grenadiers. Oh dear. Eyes on ears, Grenadiers, out. Oh, you absolute clockwinder, you probably caught yourself a King Tiger. Rifleman took their Nazi hit. Mine goes off, killing soon numerous infantry. Rifle squad down. Pioneers getting sniped. More riflemen down. The King Tiger's re another Riveman squad went down 
Snipe. Oh, Vets from C3. Sniper right in the sights of the King Tiger. And he's dead. High explosive rounds cleared him out. Right from moving in. And he could be losing another squad. Oh, absolutely insane. Bravo, my life is suffering heavily and some pretty reckless assaults on the King Tiger. He's down to two rifle squads. And he's going to lose another tank destroyer. Let's just briefly look at his, I mean, situation for Bravo My Life is pretty grim. The King Tiger and mm, in your face obsession with it has cost him a lot. But I mean, look, he's down to two infantry units, two machine guns, an engineer. I mean, really, Bravo My Life could perhaps break, pull off from this. The King Tiger's really done a lot of the job for him. Tank destroyer could be going down. Greyhound could be going down. Grenadiers are suffering a bit heavily. There we go. And there we go. Artillery getting called in on the King Tiger. More Rangers moving in. Rifleman moving in. Not sure why. Sniper bet from G3 again. And there we go. King Tiger gone, I fear. Troops getting reinforced. Could salvage this for munitions, could be good. Although oh, again, had in your life, had you know, used the munitions a bit more aggressively and upgrades or perhaps a medic bunker early on, I think he could have done a bit better now, but he's simply been grounded down, in particular again due to some mistakes with his machine guns and other support units. Getting off a Panzer Faust, Panzerick flies but misses. Just charging in. Hey, machine gun taking up position right there in the building, getting off a few good shots. And he's getting suppressed. Others continue right into the. Oh, Greyhound mine! Oh dear. And that rather looks to be the end of Bravo My Life. GG, well played. A GG, game over. A bit of a shorter match, but again, I'm a bit tired, so apologies. Hopefully I should be able to do better for tomorrow, but there you go. Hope you rather enjoyed this, hope you rather learned something. Again, this sort of, you know, mistakes were a problem in my life, you know, no medic bunker. Lack of infantry, again, infantry helps, I mean, no... But also, you know, his positioning of the MGs rather at times didn't quite make sense. And that's probably also what cost him a lot at times. Also, the Stug rushing in there, bad move. And again, the use of the pack again, a support unit, not quite succeeding either. On the other hand, Great usage of riflemen from in your face. Great use of BARs, grenades, mines. Again, good mining, really good mining. Again, American players do take note of the mining. Could have used some medic station, but otherwise snipers. Uh, Sherman also did quite a bit of work. And of course, the off-map combat groups are all rather leading to a great combination. The King Tiger could perhaps have seen him through had he had some other things, you know, working together. But again, also, the munition units didn't quite fit, and again, a medic bunker might have helped. So there you go. Do hope you enjoyed this game. If you did, why not subscribe and tell your friends? And if you didn't, well, why not send a replay of your own? This is Imperial Dane, saying cheers.